to see is a reaction video it is a video of opinion nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos my volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Let's watch it together. All right, chat. Let me know who's ready to watch this. Put a yes in the chat, and when I get a couple of yeses, I will hit the start button. I will hit the play button if you're ready. Again, like I said, I, I haven't watched any Marcus Sean Christopher video, any recent video in, in months. I don't normally pay attention to this guy. We got a few yeses, so thank you for that participation. That was actually a participation check. Here we go. What did that say? Hold on. can't see what that said. Where are they going? Erwin Mitchell, Riverside East. What is that? Solicitors in Sheffield. Okay, it's a law firm. All right. It's a law firm that they're going into there. Erwin Mitchell is the largest full-service law firm in the UK. All right. So we know where they're going now. They're going into an attorney's office. Folks. All right. I know there's probably a lot of young folks out there. One thing that uh that i find humorous is men wearing skinny jeans i just find it hilarious but that's me freaking hilarious can't take them serious yes he just said, we're here to shut their building down. I'm sorry. These people here have sent performance to a clinic. You can take us to the office. If I don't even know if they're here because you're still on their own. This guy. Look at the body language on this guy right here. I don't know who this guy is, but look. He's, his fist is clenched. His arm is sort of cocked. It looks like he's ready to swing on somebody, actually. This guy... 
Looks like a derelict hobo. Looks like transient. This guy looks like someone who would be working where they're working. Interesting. On the on the on the partial um mm. in fact the officers. There is like I said, there is the name, I remember the name, but here is it in Mitchell, so I'm not sure if it is feasible to do that. Uh, we are still on partial uh, how can I put it? Partial post pandemic, so people will be from home. So that's the situation that I'm not aware of. They, they would have an office here. Hmm? Might be possible. I've heard the name before, but I'm not sure if they are here. They are here is only the mission stuff I know. Yeah. So if you so, the system, we'll and then take us up there, then we can do what we need. No, I'm afraid I don't got no power whatsoever. Would you like to take a seat, please? I'll call my facility manager. So I, I don't know. Mark wants to go. I don't know. I can't hear really who he wants to speak to, but he's basically telling the guy that he wants to go up to someone uh, someone's office and talk to him. Now, anybody who knows anything about anything about attorneys and businesses, you have to have an appointment to do that. You don't just barge in. That's pretty presumptuous to barge into someone's place of business, a place that you have no jurisdiction over. You're walking into someone else's domain and demand you know, start demanding things of people. How presumptuous is that? I mean, that's just rude. No matter who it is that you're doing it to, you don't, it's like walking into someone's house. Imagine Mark walking into your house and doing this to you. How would you feel about that? <laughs> Folks, I'm bringing it into the rule one rule equal here. Think about it logically. What kind of sense does this make? You can do, you, you can have the volition to stop a trespass, but you don't have to do it like he's doing it, which in my, from my humble position is the wrong way to do it. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not even going to get you in the door. I mean, it's not, it's not going to get you an appointment acting like that from my experience. Uh no, you need to take us up there. This, oh. is, this is you I need to take us up there. Reception. I'm on my own. So that's so I need to put in your system. I need okay. to scroll somebody down. Yeah. Look at your look at this symbolism on the back here, Chief Judge. Okay, so this guy is wearing Mark's name on his the back of his coat, but look at the red cross on the back. Is anyone out there familiar with the name Sean Haras? Well, Sean, if you're out there. Hello, Swissy. Yeah. And tell us where the offices are, and we'd be happy to make our way. Well, here is it the Mitchell office, so I don't know where the offices are. I've heard the name before, but I'm afraid I need to call my facility manager, please. Sorry, Sorry if you don't mind. Thank you. So your your gentleman from I'm, I'm the chief judge. These are my offices. Offices, okay. From which department? From uh, Central London. Central London. Temple. Temple Bar. <laughs> look at this. Does this look like a chief judge to you? Is that who here? Looks like, look, I mean, because appearances are part of the package. Who here looks like they know what they're doing? Uh, Alex is Dante from reception. Okay, if this was like the the U.S. or whatever, that there's no security measures here. That guy, that guy in the dark hoodie with the do rag on or whatever it is, is reaching into a bag. 
How do you know what he's there to do? How do you know what he's going to pull out of that bag? Bro, this is super. This is if if he was doing this over here, he would be looking to get tackled at the very least. Uh, is it is it possible to come downstairs, please? I've got a bit of an emergency issue. Uh, the, the, some gentleman are asking for us to shoot the other officer. He's drinking sparkling carbonated water. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. Got official documents down here. Thank you. Right, right. Uh, that's the only thing I know, so I need to follow yeah, that's the procedure. Fine. Yeah, it's, oh, look, it's 11.33. Yeah, he's on his way down. Yeah, so you sit down and have a seat, bro. Coming in and out. We only know Irving Mitchell stuff. That's only as far as we know. Anyways. What do are Mitchells? Irving Mitchell. What, what do they do? He's a solicitor company. They do what? A solicitor company. It's a solicitor's company. Yeah. Lawyers. Do you have a, a map of where their office is going to be? And you would have some sort of map with an allocation. The only, the only department, and that's, that's my, I'm a bit concerned about it, because the only department, they don't only even meet you. I've heard that name before, but I don't know if they are based here, so that's what I'm saying. The only they're, 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 they're registered. registered here. Most likely they are. Because I never heard, I've heard the name, but I've never seen the person or the people. Well, I'm afraid I can't come here anymore. I'll ask the manager there. Are you? Yeah. Uh, we're from the high court. You may have a, you may request a company or a photocopy or something like that, but if you can take us to their premises and see. Who is it? We speak with them. Ascent Performance for Limited. Uh, they're not, they're not here. They're in Manchester. No, they're, they're registered here. They're not, there's nobody here from Ascent. This is Erwin Mitchell. Yeah, but they're registered in the office, so they would have something here. Well, good luck finding them. They're not here. They're in Manchester. No, they were Mitchell, Manchester, not Sheffield. Yeah, no, what I'm saying to you is that this roof is actually registered on this building. And yes, right. we are having challenges of finding them. Yeah, yeah. Hiding I'm just saying the people are in that. Excuse me, team. you're not authorized the to video in, in Manchester. I don't, they are. They're authorized by me. It's not public space, so. Um, it's, believe me, they are authorized. See. This is where it kind of like goes into the common law type people. As I told you at the beginning here, when we started watching this, this is not, this is like someone walking into your house and making demands on you. They're not authorized to be there. And now they've obviously identified themselves as hostile parties. So why would the residents or the people that are in that building allow someone hostile to continue? to harass them there are better ways to do whatever he's trying to do now he's trying to shut them down like that that's what he said right so think about it that guy right there the guy behind the counter and everybody else in the building they have a job they get paid they have wives they have children they have mothers and fathers so basically mark's volition is to cut off their source of income what pays to put the roof over their head, what pays to put food on their children's plates. He wants to cut that off. Now, I understand. You might be saying to yourself, no, 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 that's not what he wants to do. He just wants to stop them from operating as attorneys and fleecing the public. Folks, you're the public. If you choose to have an attorney, that's your choice. You have to go into that with knowledge. Just like he chose to trespass. He is the trespasser in this scenario. He is the trespasser. With rule one, rule equal, balance of honor, grace, position of peace and neutrality. He is the trespasser here. Do you see that? Right. And do you see why this won't work? I will bet you this building that he's in, whenever this was done, I will bet you it's still open for business by me we've been yeah, judging the case we've been, we've been, yeah, this, is, this is a public name it so this doesn't is, matter i have I've, I've, I've just so so I have stop. Stop. if they say 
it's not public place. It's not a public place. It's their building. It's not Mark's building. Mark didn't put money in it. Mark doesn't own it. So this is just. This is fantasy land delusional stuff. Uh, complete jurisdiction. Now, so I, need, I need you to tell me that this people. The street police. The street. Because I, I don't sent, even know who these guys are. I sent. I'm not sure they have any idea. There's no idea or anything. The police are worried about these people. Just because you wrote it on there don't mean nothing. <laughs> yeah. so, are you expecting it? No, no. We don't know who you are. What are you doing here? You're showing me no ID. You haven't. You've got a piece of. There's another thing. There were no roads posted. You just showed up with no prior notice. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, that's right. nothing. I'm not just because it's so South Yorkshire police on it. I mean, I'm not here to argue. I'm just like, no, I'm here to argue with you. We can't leave you in our house. We don't know who you are. Where's your ID? We don't carry ID. This is the ID. That's not ID. We don't carry IDs. So, with correct sentence structure, you would. Call that credentials. That's not a warrant. So I'm not here to argue with you. No, I'm not. I'm not going to argue with you. Are you telling me? Are, are you telling me this? This people are not here. Not in this building. No. They're not registered in this building. I don't know about that. On a work permit, Mitchell. Yes, but who do you work with? Of course, the mine. There is, uh, there is no group, third and last time, there is no group here operating as SM Performance Group Limited. I've told so you they're in Manchester. 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 They're in Manchester
if that would have been me in my house and someone did that to me, they'd be on the floor with a cracked skull. Two seconds. Ain't no way. I don't care how many people they are. One of them's going to the hospital at the very least. That's crazy. All jokes aside, do you see what I'm saying, folks? People might get, you know, rah, rah, rah behind a guy like that doing something like this. But think about it, the whole picture, all right? Think about what I said about these people have jobs. They go to their jobs every day for however many hours, 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day. They get a paycheck. They pay their rent. They feed their families. They have children. What he wants to do is shut that down. Why? Because he feels that this law firm is fleecing people. No one is holding, no, no one is twisting a client's arm to hire an attorney. No one. No one. So if there's fleecing going on, it's by choice. Do you see what I'm saying? You have a choice to get educated. You have a choice to participate with this or to find some other avenue with correct sentence structure. It's that simple. Also, you've been what, what are you talking about? And in addition yeah, to what are you talking about? It's not hard. 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 It's not if you're sure that they're not here, 100% and Manchester, you better off that. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the office. So that's the place where they're recording you have an address. Manchester office, it's online. You can find it online. Can I have my postal inspector? Yeah. Yes. They are registered here. Yes, the they are. The paper trail leads here. Yep, yeah. company's house, they are registered here. Do you want to speak to Philip Watts, please? Want to speak to find that really You're right. pretty yeah, Hi. Uh, Mark Kishon Christopher. Yeah, Mark Kishon Christopher here. She said judge. All right. Notice. You didn't use any type of punctuation verbally. So I will bet you dollars to donuts that the document that he has right there is written in adverb, verb, adjective, pro, pronoun, plain English fiction babble. It's not even written in quantum gobbledygook because I know that Mark does not know how to syntax. And I know that he doesn't know how to write in correct sentence structure based upon the documents he has published on his website. So he's just credentialed himself on the phone as adjective, adjective, pronoun, Mark Cashon Christopher. Keep that in mind. We're at a particular office and the company that we're looking for is not registered here, but it's registered in the company to us and we're here to shut the premises down and their business activities and uh, the security are telling us that I'm from the head of the temple well so he basically wants dozens if not hundreds of folks that work in that office to lose their jobs and have no source of income what kind of a man does that treasurer in the city of London, and you've been succeeded. So, I guess the same type of man that would charge thousands and thousands of dollars for a course that teaches quantum gobbledygook. I guess the same guy that would charge $364 for a, a meeting, a video meeting with him. Thank you very much. I'll hand you the phone back to the uh, hello. So, look at it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Paper travel hello. leads here. Let me look hello. back here. Hello. So, one more time, one more time. And uh, the security are telling us that. Watch this guy's face back I'm here. I'm from the head of the Temple Well Treasurer in the city of London. And you've been CC'd. 
So, thank you very much. I'll hand you some. Back Watch his face. Uh, hello. hello. So, <laughs> he started laughing. Here. So, what we're going to do is go to Manchester to find them and shut them down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, they're saying that they have not heard of these people. No, we have. No, we have heard of them. We're saying they're not in there are subsidiary of the Mitchell ones. Yeah. Not next year. Yeah. A lot of people coming in doing this. Yeah. First time ever. <laughs> yeah. First time ever. Hold up. So I'll leave that with you. Trying to see. Yeah, look. This is all written in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. Look at these flags. There's no, there's not even a one by 1.9 flag on here. There's no stamp on here. It's not even a, a postal document. So who knows what that is? Who knows? Are you? Are we, are we going to take one two minutes? We've not got any ideas of you guys. We don't. You reckon they don't need no ideas? We don't have Harry ideas. The ideas are all. What reason would a man have to not want to credential himself? To not want to give their correct name? To not want to step up onto the geometric level playing field of contract? What reason would a man have to hide who they are? So we have it on record. They are here, but there's no paper trail. They have no office, no letterbox, no pigeon box exception. Okay. Do we want to ask them the address and validate it with Company's House for the Manchester address? Do you think it's worth it? Ask them for the exact Manchester address and then we can validate it. Wow. The federal judge didn't think to ask them for the address of the place where the, the actual company is based out of? Mark was just ready to walk out the door. Folks, take him out of the plastic because he's brand new. Give us. <laughs> I, I just Give want us. to get records of your business. It's fine. It's fine. Yes. I've given them a paper. If we have the registered address where you say they're on It's Manchester. online. It's available online. So they're hiding. I'm not hiding anything. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's public knowledge. It's public knowledge. I know we, we came here with the company's house address, so public knowledge is here. Yeah. 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 Y
<laughs> Ooh. That was just an, I don't know, an exercise in ego or to get views. I don't know what that was for. But first and foremost, it didn't accomplish anything. Nothing happened except Mark probably caused some excitement for those employees for the day and gave them something to talk about for a couple days. There's no follow-up. So, I mean, the value that I get from a video like that, that uh, Quadruple A shared with me, is that it's humorous. It's entertainment value. That's about it. And that's why I don't watch his videos, because they're all goofy. It's all goofiness. It is what it is, folks. Again, just like people that hire attorneys, if that's what you want to do, that's your choice. They're not forcing you to hire them. No one's forcing you to follow Marcus Sean Christopher or watch his videos. No one forced me to watch this video. I chose to. If you choose to contract with Mark and send him $364 to talk to him on video, that's your choice. I mean, maybe someday someone will walk into Mark's house and shut him down or try to shut him down. <laughs> Just like he did to those attorneys. Fiction and fiction, folks. Fiction and fiction. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the Join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching, click the join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the loyalist contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. And you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions and we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.